All right, now that we're finished with all of our review stuff, we are going to be doing something that will help us understand why imagery is used. I know we know why it is, but this will help us to further understand why we're doing it. So since we already know that imagery is used to help the readers use their senses to imagine what they're reading more vividly so they can better describe and understand what they have already read. So we're going to use our image chart skill that we learned yesterday. If you guys don't remember, these are what they look like. You should have them already. We passed them out. If you need an extra one, let me know. Everyone's got them. All right, good. Uh, we're going to be using this to describe a scene from a poem. So this will help us use our image chart skill for other written passages to help us create mental images and describe them to others. All right, so here is the poem we are going to be looking at today. Let's read through it together once. The winter evening settles down with smell of steaks in passageways. Six o'clock, the burnt out ends of smoky days, and now a gusty shower wraps the grimy scraps of withered leaves about your feet and newspapers from vacant lots. So now we're going to read through it again, and we're going to find the descriptive words that we can use that shows imagery. So the winter evening settles down. So for that one, we know winter, we're describing the weather. With smell, it's a key word there, of stakes in passageways. So smell of stakes. Six o'clock. This describes the time of day, the burnt out ends of smoky days. Smoky is describing the days. And now a gusty shower. So gusty is describing the shower. Wraps the grimy scraps. You know that grimy is describing the scraps of withered leaves, describing the leaves about your feet, and newspapers from vacant lots. So this is describing that the lot, lot is empty. So here we've got all highlighted all of our descriptive words. So now once we have these all figured out, we're going to take out our image charts, which we all should have out already. And we are going to use what we found in here with our highlighted words to fill out our image chart. I'll try and keep this off to your side if you guys need it so. All right. Everyone can see this okay? All right. So first, let's go through the taste. Did we see any examples of taste in our poem? Doesn't look like it. So then we know that we can keep this blank. You don't need to put anything in it. You can just leave it blank. How about smell? Is there any talk of smell in our poem? Smell of steaks. Perfect. So we can write steaks in the smell box. Any other smell? Doesn't look like it. So we can move on. How about sight? I'll give you a tricky one. S smoky days. What do we think smoky days means? Any ideas? Filled with smoke. Yeah, so it might be hard to see maybe. Foggy. Foggy, yeah. So we'll just write smoky. And if you need to, underneath it, you could write foggy or hard to see or whatever will help you. What else? Maybe, what about withered leaves? Is that something we can see? Yeah. All right, then we're gonna write that one down. Withered leaves. How about vacant lots? That sounds like something I can see. I can see that the lot is empty. And if you need to remember what vacant is, vacant is you can just write empty. Doesn't look like we have anything else, so I'm gonna move on to the feel category. Winter isn't really something we can feel, 
but winter is usually what? Warm or cold? Cold. And can we feel when it's warm or cold? Yeah. All right, so maybe we can write winter, and you can write cold in there if you need to remember. How about six o'clock? Is that something that we can feel? Mm, I don't think so. Actually, six o'clock might be something we could say for sight because we can see that it's getting darker outside since six o'clock is nighttime. So we'll write night. All right, back to the feel. We already got these two. How about, let's see, grimy scraps. Grimy usually is the way that something feels. So we're gonna fill in grimy scraps in here. Anything else? What about sound? I don't think I can see anything that alludes to any of the sound. So we're gonna leave that one blank also. All right. So the summary of the poem we went over is that we know He's describing that it smells like steaks. It is smoky outside, so it might be foggy. There might be smoke in the air. There might have been a fire. We can see withered leaves being blown around. Um, vacant lots, so we can see that it's empty. And six o'clock, we can see that it's getting darker out. So that explains the type of day that we can see because the sun is going down. Um, what about winter? We know that we can feel when it's cold outside. And grimy scraps. We can feel when something is grimy. We can feel that it's scraps. It's not fully pieced together. And I purposely left one out. Can anyone tell me what that might be? Gusty showers. Exactly. Who can tell me where gusty shower would be? Gusty usually refers to wind, wind gusts. So if it's windy. Feel? Perfect. You guys got it. You guys are catching on already. That one was just a small test. I didn't exactly expect you guys to get it, but you did. You're doing a great job. All right. Now let's go over this really quick. What did I do first? Read the poem. That's right. How about, what did I do next? Find descriptive words. And what else did I do to those descriptive words? Um, you highlighted them. I did, so that way I can easily find them when I'm filling out my what? Imagery chart. Right, and that's the last thing I did, right? Yep. All right, now we can move on to guided practice.